up truck and I knew we was gonna be twinsies. Riding around in it, I blasting a cold bus. Do right then, I would make you my only call. ice cream it's actually produced by Michael Will made it so I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for this but this maybe I like it more because of all the niggas that I wrote it about even though those are all past situations that will never manifest into anything other than what it was But yeah, she has a special place in my heart and ice cream. I'm not getting a unanimous decision for her. No one's fighting for her. But honestly, years ago, no one fought for new apartment either. No one fought for FaceTime, but I knew I had to fight for it, you know? Well, since we're here, and I don't really know how to get off this thing. I can't breathe. <laughs> this is our anonymous. Zonda, no. She just wants to go out there and freaking eat all the geckos. Girl, no, you cannot. She's like obsessed with the geckos. Fight for it. I'm done fighting. I'm done fighting. Let me see, what else do I have here? I got some other stuff. No! Mm, can't play you those. Those are definites. <sighs> I should play you this hilarious ass song. My friend would probably be pissed. I, I don't really sound that good on it. Honestly, I need to re-sing it. I sound sleepy as a bitch. I'm not motherfucking letting y'all hear that. I ain't gonna let y'all hear me sounding sleepy as a bitch. All right, so let me try to find something else. Mm. I ain't got... Y'all, so the door slammed shut twice and my electrician already thinks my house is haunted because he said he heard a woman talking but the crazy thing is the owner there was a woman that passed 
end. These are Civil War battlegrounds. talking about what are you even talking about hmm I wonder what this is No, it was crazy. So, so they did hear a lady talking. And I'm just like, okay, that's interesting. And then today, the door literally slammed shut twice. But I think it was because the window was open. I'm just like, okay, the wind is cute and all and, and powerful. But these were not hurricane winds. And these were not tornado winds. So I have to finish this song. I never finished it. I didn't I didn't know if I should have finished it. So the issue in life is I have so many songs and it's just like who it's really just about getting someone to tell me to finish it. Like, had it not been for Justin, Lamont, and JD, Pressure would have never got finished. Because we did a snippet, um, me, Jonta Austin, um, Brian, Michael Cox, and JD initially. Because Jonta, I hope I'm all, I hope I'm saying his name, the legend's name, like, because I always feel like maybe I'm not. Sorry if my foot is dirty. But, um, so, like I was saying, they encouraged me to finish it. Popping bottles. It is. And I'm ready to oh, get shit. free. Hold on. Free. Put somebody in the sheet. I said that you. All right, so these don't have real words or real singing on them. It's just ideas forming. So, John Tay. Okay. I'm really sorry, John Tay. I'm really sorry, and I love you a lot. I'm really sorry. So don't, what? Livia, Simone, I'm gonna take my glasses off for you. Let me tell you something, you little motherfucking piece of, I don't know who told you that, but I've been on, let's say, I don't know, you do the math. 50 mother freaking flights this mother freaking year. Maybe one of those flights I had peace. Before every flight I get on, I don't have any peace, okay? But at least the flight to London when I was going to work on music, I had peace. Once we got in the air, it was the most smooth flight. But every other mother effing flight this year was chaotic, okay? I wish somebody would tranquilize me. The only tranquilizer that I had in my possession was liquor. That was the only thing I ever had. I have been getting on these flights. Let me tell you something, you little messy little freak i have been getting on these flights 
sober. I wish. Let me tell you, let me tell you a little freak ass something. I wish there was a sober, peaceful escape. And there is not. I've been facing that because I'm a real ass motherfucking Negro. Damn, I got a crust in my eyes. I'm sorry. I did not shower yet. But please. So whoever told you that can kiss my ass because I wish, okay? I wish there was an opportunity where I could be as numb as everybody else when I'm facing my fears. Every mother freaking time I do that. And that is the only time I, I, well, honestly, as days go by, I don't even crave it. I don't even crave it as much as I, I used to, especially on the plane. I've just kind of gotten used to the fact that, like, that's not an option. Like, what I want more than anything every time I'm on a plane is to survive. That is what I want more than anything. It's like, so my reality has completely, like, shifted when I'm on a plane. It's not like, oh, let me numb this feeling. Like, no, it's, oh, like, when are we landing? And you said 30 minutes uh, um, until we... 30 minutes until we land, we're starting our mother freaking descent. Well, why does it feel like 50 minutes? Why does it feel like two hours? So, yeah, it's that. So, before you mother freaking ever play with me, I embarrassed myself probably five, six times this year. And yeah, I do feel away right now. I'm bored. And I have time today, little freaking weirdo, okay? I embarrassed myself five or six times this year because I was sober as hell, facing my fears, feeling every freaking anxiety and turbulence. And I was getting the fuck through it with the help of an amazing man one time, Dwayne. With the help of this this lady one time when I was, um, well, no, that was last year when I was coming from Dubai. Or are you still smoke? I never smoked. Okay? It was a lie. Purple Haze, it was just music. Okay? Rappers rap about liquor all the time. They don't even be freaking drinking. Okay? That was my story with Purple Haze. I been. There was never any weed. So, yeah. <sighs> I ain't playing shit again. Because that person had me fucked up. I wish. I wish. But no, I'm a real ass. I'm a real ass. And I'm facing my freaking fears every mother day. Okay? Keep playing with me. Keep playing with me. Take the mask off, Ari. No. I'm feeling shy today. And my name is not Ari, it's Ari Anonymous.
to go out there and eat those geckos. They deserve life. They deserve to live. So this is called How Does It Feel? But I got to put some real words to it. Where am I? I'm not going to tell you where I'm at. So that's what's happening. Well, that's all I got today. I don't know why that triggered me a bit. Because it's just like, don't ever try to, don't ever try to play with my progress ever. Like, don't ever try to play no games. Don't ever try to mother freaking play me. Don't do no little jokey joke to me because listen, it is not easy. It is not easy, but I am doing it. I'm feeling it. And I am to be celebrated for it because that is incredible. Sobriety for almost eight months is incredible. Don't ever try to up, play with me. Don't ever. Girl. It's okay. Same. The way that gecko got you feeling is how these fetches got me feeling. <sighs> but anyway, I ain't got nothing else, honestly, y'all. Um, just been a little bored. Been feeling a little lonely. But it's good to be alone. It really is. Thanks. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it was nice talking to y'all today. I'm really sorry for my attitude. The pop song... And sorry also for my nails. I was eating avocado, so there's some avocado goo in my nails. Will we have an age sex location deluxe? No. They wanted to do it, but I was like, no. I just feel like age sex location is a beautiful world on its own, and I just kind of wanted to live in that world and you know anything going forward i just want it to be like a new world you know see man i'm looking at the group chat right now they're talking about songs from many eras ago that they want to potentially consider for what i'm trying to do i'm just like i don't know i don't know Whoa, that is really weird because Eve in the group chat literally just said something about friend zone. Then yo ass just said something about friend zone. Are y'all in the same group chat? Is it giving inside, man? Wait, there's two friend zones, Ali? Because please tell me. I don't remember. The gecko does deserve to live, but she going to sit here and bark all day. She is so sassy. It's amazing, like animals and humans and children and 
I mean, we all just, we're just all so different. Like every individual in this life is just all so different. Oh, I can't breathe. Is it cold where you are? No. It's really hot. Jaha, I can't believe you're in here. Yo, shout out to my <laughs> shout out to my manager. I can't believe you're in my IG live. Man. Man, back in the day, Jaha, my IG lives, they were a time. They were a time, but now they're not the same. Come to the Philippines. Yo, it's a sign. My homeboy was talking about going to the Philippines with our friend's family. And then my homegirl's trying to get me to go to the Philippines with her family. I'm just like, we really all need to go to the Philippines. Because I would love to, but I would have to break up that flight. So I would fly to Tokyo. And I would just want to be in Tokyo maybe for a week and just embrace the culture Go to some beautiful hip hop clubs, eat some incredible sushi. Oh my god! Oh, some wagyu steak, uh, and maybe like find some type of flower forest. I would love to just look at all of the beautiful flowers, all of the marine life. I just really want to get my life in Tokyo for a good week, and then from there, I would love to fly to the Philippines. Prayerfully, I'm I'm praying. The flight is um, shorter from Tokyo to the Philippines instead of just having to fly straight to, yeah. But I don't know. Yes, I would like to see a meadow. Are you in the Philippines, Domo? Or, I'm sorry, Dom? Dom Gayet? Gayo? Am I saying your name right? How are you? I love the Philippines and I believe the people are so beautiful. One of my best friends is Filipino. One of my old friends who I'm not friends with anymore. He's Filipino, and that was really unnecessary. I didn't have to say that. You're going to go see Carol G today? That's amazing. Where is she performing at? Are you in the Philippines now? Oh, my goodness, I wish. What? If I was in the Philippines... Well, let's face it, if I was in the Philippines right now, I'd still be recording everything because I'm in my technology addiction bag. I do remember you're amazing, Dom. I have to listen to your music again. Any advice for school? Baby, my advice for school. My advice for school. My GPA was a 1.9, baby. I am in no position to give you any advice. All I can say is balance. Make sure you're doing what you want to do, but also make sure you're doing what you need to do to make it through. But also, don't be too hard on yourself and give yourself grace because that shit is hard. And, and honestly, school 
it's not it's not one size fits all and i do believe a lot of school systems kind of like have one size fits all mentality and a lot of people don't feel seen and a lot of people kind of slip through the cracks and you know what i'm saying maybe you're more of a creative than you are you know so i'll just say is that i just want to validate you if you do feel like you don't fit in in any way because it's hard and not just the academics but sometimes the people they can be heinous individuals I was always getting, I was always about to get drunk, jumped. In high school, somebody was always trying to whoop my ass, always. Because, because I wasn't gonna sit there and take it, okay? Desiree, I'll never forget it. I walked into the bathroom with a little wig on, a little cheap $20 wig from the beauty supply store. And it was a short, black, straight wig. She was like, why are you wearing that? And I'm just like, I don't know, because I like it. Honestly, y'all, I don't remember how the conversation went down, but all I know is the one time I decided to stick up for myself, I'm wearing it because I like it. Oh, I don't know who you're talking to, but I will beat your ass. I don't know why it always had to get to that. But all I know is I might have told this story before, so I'm not going to retry to tell it because honestly, I don't remember. It was the same, Desiree. But my point is that wig you got on is just fine. If you like it, that's all that matters. I guess... In her weird, like, sick mind, she just wanted me to, like, she was like, it's bad for your edges. Like, why do you care what's bad for my edges? And are you trying to lead me? Are you trying to lead me? Or are you trying to beat me? Like, which one is it? Like, how are you going to try to lead me up to tear me down? So all I know is, I just want to validate you and just follow your heart and and wear that wig, wear whatever you want to wear, okay? Do whatever you want to do as long as it's safe and you're not destroying anything or anybody. But all I know is follow your heart. Give yourself grace because school is not easy, okay? Whether it's the pressure from your parents, the pressure of the future, the pressure of society, the pressure of, of school in general, you got this. And it's not a competition. Follow your pace. Hear your own thoughts, hear your own heart, and follow Follow what you want to do, what you want to offer to this world. As long as it's not trifling. Can I get that hoodie? No, it got chocolate on it. No problem, no problem. All right, y'all, I think it's time for me to get out of here. I'm a little on one today. You know, that person had me all the way fucked up, and then just a little lonely. But you know what? I don't have to be lonely. I don't have to be lonely. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to meet me in nice neighboring white dog can we get the course of outside what no what do I look like some person who listens when asked I don't even know how outside goes you know I better learn it because I do have a show I have a show in Detroit I have a show 
Do you guys ever want me to like promote that I be having shows coming up and stuff? Cause I guess I should work on that. All right, well, I'm just gonna maybe play one more song and then I'm just gonna turn it off really fast. Okay. Oh, I'm definitely not gonna play that song. It could in decrease opportunities of me getting in a movie. So this song is not done. I could get in trouble for this. I could get in trouble for this. Can you play The Sims? No, because I don't have a good setup so that you can watch me play The Sims. got for that all right i'm gonna get the hell out of here because set earth a kid thank you that's really sweet you guys my stomach hurts i had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and I had a, I had a whole avocado with hot sauce on it. I had some coconut water for hydration. I've been drinking life water for additional hydration. I chewed some gum. I was literally like, I should ask Doja, but I don't know if the record is. <laughs> I don't know if the record is what it needs to be yet. Avocado with hot sauce. Yeah, you never tried it? Avocado with hot sauce is so tasty and a little bit of salt sometimes. So what I really like to do is like salt, pepper on the avocado and then some hot sauce on it. But today, <laughs> I couldn't find no black pepper. Zonda, you was just outside. You ain't never gonna catch that motherfucking gecko. You ain't never gonna catch it. Gone, gone, girl, gone, gone. Don't be asking to come back in. I'm lonely, so let me down. That sounds atrocious. Well, I don't really care what it sounds like because guess what? I like it. Okay? I like it. I like avocado with hot sauce on it. And it was amazing. Okay? But my stomach does hurt. And I, I think it's because of... I think it's because of the peanut butter and jelly. So, I've been making mac and cheese a few times this year, but... Sadly, I the last time I made it, the guy was disgusted. And so I've been kind of feeling like nervous to try it again. But this time, I'm going to try it. And I'm not going to be afraid of salt. And I've gotten some tips from people in my life about what I can do to make it better. And yeah, I'm going to freaking do it. I'm going to freaking do it. Really, Zonda? Really? 
Oh my God. All right. You are afraid of salt. Yeah, because when I was younger and I tried to make food, I put way too much salt on it. This is who I am. It's really me, Ari. Ari Anonymous was just a, it was just a deflection. It was just a lie. It was just a projection. It was just a, a mask. It's really me. See? We remember that chicken. I remember it too. And that was the day I started cleaning my chicken. And I know that's weird. But you know what I realized in life? We all grow up differently. And honestly, I'm not... I know my peoples clean their food. I just never watched them cook. And I never really sat down and learned, you know? But it could also be the Aries in me, just always wanting to do everything myself. But I think I'm in an era now. Well, I'm definitely in an era now. I have been within the last these, what am I saying? Within the last few years of like, just wanting to, wanting help, asking for it, throwing myself at whoever will give it. You're an Aries, that's awesome. Oh, thanks, Papa Billy. Thank you. Oh, my God. My stomach is going crazy. What the fuck? I'm never eating peanut butter and jelly, avocado, hot sauce again. Oh, my Lord. It all takes time. Life is a learning curve. Yo, there's so many things, like, sadly, like, just listening to people's conversations or, like, embarrassing myself on IG Live or just watching, like, shady, like, blog sites, like, posting certain conversations. They're, like, they're so, like, I've learned so much by just literally watching what certain grown people do and... And just sometimes people's opinions really do help. You know, like that one time I came on live and I had on like this wrinkled ass, I had on this wrinkled ass nightgown. Y'all was like, iron it. And I was like, no. And then I did and it looked way better. So it's like stuff like that. I mean, my mom taught me that too, but... I was just being like trifling and um, stubborn. Yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of things that, a lot of tips that I've taken in my life. But honestly, let me tell y'all motherfuckers something. I make the best motherfucking salmon in the world. I'll bet anybody, anybody. You think it's a motherfucking game out here? You think it's a joke? I challenge you to, to a duel, a spar. I wanna spar all of you motherfucking salmon batches. I wanna cook my salmon, I want you to cook your salmon and I want us to compete. Because I know for a fact I make the best motherfucking salmon. Everything else may suck. Actually, I make a nice little vegan soup. I make a nice little 
vegan garbanzo bean soup. It's really good. It's a little spicy. Your butt will hurt when it's ready to come out. But it's good and it's going to get it all out. Zonda, the door is open. If you're ready to spar the gecko, the geico, the gecko, go outside. You ever had blackened honey pan seared salmon? Fah, well, not still you wrong. I haven't, but that sounds like Jesus. That sounds like Allah. That sounds like all of the beautiful religion. It's I shouldn't have ate that motherfucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich and avocado hot sauce. Love you too. Put your wig on. I stopped wearing wigs. I'm not putting on no more wigs, y'all. Honestly, my edges got snatched like so crazy and like I'm good and I realize my hair, honestly, she really be wanting to fall out. So I'm good, like I'm good. If I just be looking fuzzy all the time that's fine like that's just a a decision like I'm really proud of and happy to live with because when I get off that stage when I get off that music video set I gotta look myself in the mirror myself this ain't for no man this ain't for anybody down the street I gotta look at myself and if I am the cause of like the traction alopecia then it's just if I can if I can freaking prevent it, then it's just like, all right, I'm good. Like, and I notice like even when I tie my hair, when I pull my hair up and the half up, half down, yes, yeah, giving like superstar, but it's also giving my edges are leaving me at a alarmingly fast rate. And it's just like, I don't see why it's worth it. Same thing with edge control. Um, my favorite gel in the world, it slicks it down, baby. It slicks it motherfucking down, but it dries me. It dries me like a goddamn motherfucking desert. I'm cool. I'm cool. It's the first time, like, I, like, really started caring about my hair. Like, oh, like. Let's go to sleep with the bonnet on. Let's, okay, she's feeling dry as hell. Let's spray a little bit of water, some spring water or some rose water. Let's put some oil in it. And I be outside looking like soul glow. I do. I be looking like I ran for six miles and I didn't. I be looking oily as hell and it's not cute. But I know deep down inside and maybe hopefully five years, God willing, something will come out of it. Did you see Oppenheimer? No. I kind of want to see it, but I kind of am just like, I don't know. Do I want to see it? It's so sad what that bomb did to the world, but... It's really sad. You should try locks. No. I don't want to lock it. I don't want to lock it. And I used to be like, I, I feel like I used to be like everybody else when they're like, yeah, I'll just do that at 50. No. I am too indecisive and impulsive and like every 
Yeah, every other day I want to do something different. <laughs> It's, def it's definitely giving haunted force. It's giving haunted force. Come on, G. Please, please, baby. Please, ain't nothing there. Nothing is ever there. Y'all should have seen how loud I screamed when the door slammed shut. I fell to my knees. First of all, I ain't never been... I'd be scared on the plane, and I'd be screaming on the plane. But this was a different feeling. I never had the feeling of, like, <laughs> terror and, like, chills at the same time. I'd be scared for my life on the plane, but this was, like... I fell to my knees. I was, I'm so dramatic. I fell to my knees. I was so scared. I yelled, and I had chills. Let me tell you something. All I know is, shut up, Shakira. All I know is, when I left, when I ran, I mean, when I, um, get it together, Courtney. The first time when it happened, <laughs> it's not even a cute scream. Like, I don't even scream like a, <laughs> I don't even scream like the horror girls. The horror story girls, like, I, it's just always like a, ah, <laughs> like, it's never sexy. It's never like a feminine scream. Is that weird to say? It's like, it's always like, ah, like, I hate that. But I was so scared. Do you not trust the pilots or you just feel it's not natural to be that high in the air? You know, what's funny. I absolutely trust the pilots or I would I don't think I would get on I trust the pilots I guess I it's um trauma and con issues with control but like um it, yeah it's a flat screen a scream yeah <laughs> it's just not a good screen Oh, congratulations, chef. Does dating improve in the 30s? I can't tell you because... Zonda, how did you get wet? What the fuck? No, stay right there, please. Baby, what happened to you? Come on, girl. Oh my god. We might as well go to the beach now. We might as well go to the damn beach. Oh man. Cause it's like, I got to wash her. I got to put her in the shower and. <sighs> no mama. No, oh, 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 okay. Well, you got to go in the back because. The rug. She know what's up. Leave her outside, she'll dry off. Let's go to the beach, beach. How's that song go? 
Dating only gets better when you get better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to that shit. Well, I'm not dating anymore. I guess I'm in a space now where it's just like, I don't see the point in, like, dating. I finally, like, deleted, like, my, um, I deleted my online dating site thing. Because I'm just like, this is, I'm not attracting anything that feels pure. So, I'm I'm just chilling in real life, which is scary because it's like, well, Jesus, who am I going to meet and (laughs) where am I going to meet them? But You know what it also is, though, y'all? Zonda, please don't cry. No. You know what it also is, like... I feel at peace, at least with my dating life. I don't want it to be disrupted. I don't want it to be disrupted. I don't want to be depressed. I don't want to be sad. I don't want to be. I know that's a really dark take, but it's like, God forbid, if it does go wrong, like, I don't want, I don't want that right now. When I just feel like I'm. I'm I'm stable when it comes to like the lack of love. I don't want to, the lack of romantic love. So it's like I don't want. But of course, I'm open if the right guy, but it's like am I that open though? Cuz like as I'm talking about this, it's like maybe I'm not even that open. And then it's also like getting to a space where it's like, I know I'm sexy, you know, even when I be a hot mess. Like, it gets really exhausting having to um, entertain or like interact with folks who try to play me like I'm not all that in a bag of chips. Like, I don't need you to like worship my feet, but like, I don't like feeling like an option. I like feeling like I'm number one, you know, like, especially if you're pursuing me romantically, I want to feel like, oh, you're pursuing someone you want to make a priority. You want, you want to make a girlfriend. You want to make a wife. Yeah, sis. The mud does suck, doesn't it? So why would you bury yourself into the gosh darn mud. You gotta think about these things, Zonda. You gotta think about these things. I don't feel like bathing you. You wanted a little spa all day. You wanted a little mud bath. And now we're here. So I guess I gotta wash my dog. But I kind of just like, this might be the end of this conversation. I think, honestly, you guys, I think I should just take her to the beach. The beach will wash her off. I think we just might go to the beach. You definitely need to make love time tablet timetable that works with what you're doing career-wise, huh? Yeah, I think that's another thing, like, as each day goes on, I, or as each year goes by, just knowing my worth and really being sure and, like, validating myself that, like, I'm not tripping, like, certain things are abusive, certain things are unacceptable, it's like, no, and then even realizing my own, like, trifling ways, my own ways, and just knowing, like, that's unacceptable, too, and, like, being very vocal that, like, what I did was terrible. Like, yeah, I just, I'm I'm cool. Bathe her once you get back from the beach. That's a good idea. I probably do need to go to the beach. 
It's just the beach is so far. The beach is so damn far. Stop looking, let it find you. Well, that that was like my whole intention with like the dating site. Like, all right, I'm not looking anymore. And I damn sure don't go outside and expect to see some fine man with success just licking his lips in the Home Depot. I don't, I don't, I don't see that. I don't expect that, but just go. Fuck off. You can always drive a moped to the beach. <laughs> I don't have a moped, but I do have, I do have, I'm going to show you what I do have. Uh, No, I'm not going to show you that. I have a lawnmower. I could take my lawnmower. Oh, that's what I need to do. I'm tripping. I need to throw all this shit away that I got in my house. A bike? Nah, no bikes. Well, you guys, this has been great. But it's time for me to go. It's time for me to go. I ain't got nothing to give. I think if social media ended, life would be normal again. Yeah, I want to get back to the place where I'm not on it. I do feel, I do feel conflicted because a part of me is just like, well, to to be relevant is to be active. So it it is conflicting, but I really would like to just live a life where I could drop an album and like, there's a way all my fans would know. Because I do feel like social media did play a big part. I would say the biggest part in like, I mean, I could be wrong outside of radio, like in the success of my albums, it has to be right. Or sorry, that's probably not accurate. It's probably a whole bunch of like platforms and playlists and interviews and marketing, all kinds of things. But it just feels like social media is also a very big part of it. It's very hard, and then it can be lonely. But when I was doing it, I was fine. I was really fine. Zonda, don't bring your muddy ass over here. All right, you can. Come on. Now we gonna have to both shower. Oh, no, don't put your hand on my... You know what's interesting about her? She likes to, um, she likes to hug. Hi, Koya. Are you in Maryland? Apple helped me discover backseat and it wrapped after that. What you mean? I just can't believe you did that, Zonda. Why? Can I hug you again? I don't know, y'all. I don't really like hugs. (laughs) Can I tell y'all something? A secret? I don't really like hugs. Um, I like them sometimes when I know people and like, they like force a hug onto me, but I don't really like go out my way and be like, Hey, bring it in, bring it in partner. I don't do that. I don't do that. But so that's why when people ask me, Oh, Sandra, when people ask me if they can give me a hug. I might sound hesitant because it's because I am. (laughs) 
Zonda, girl, please. Look at this big baby. Not liking hugs is an Aries thing. Is it really? She's she loves to cuddle. It's just she also loves to be dirty. So look at me now. Let's face it, Ari, right, you've been a dirty fucking bitch. <laughs> the shedding is giving me anxiety. How do you think I feel? Like I just don't have time for this. How do you think I feel? I ain't the only one who heard that. Heard what? Can we see the dog? What? What'd you hear? My dog is clingy too. Yeah. Zonda's really clingy, but she's the complete opposite from G. And I didn't realize like I needed that because G is very like, I'll come over here to you to give you a kiss, but you better scratch me. That's G. He's not coming over to like <laughs> to like give you what Zonda gives you. Zonda is very, very emotionally available. She's very um, affectionate. She'd probably be a great mom because she's already a great daughter. The best gift in life is having you as a daughter. Is that what he said? Is that how he said it? The greatest honor in life is having you for a daughter. I miss the plain story. You feel like telling it again? No. <sighs> but y'all, I really be embarrassing myself every time. <laughs> you doing your nails just putting that out there uh, I should because I, this lady did them out here and oh my god I was pissed as she was doing them but I, would, I, I, I try to say hey you know you think you could do that one over but I really don't like being an asshole like so I I just was like whatever I was like, it's okay. And I figured I was just going to do them in Atlanta. But I started, like, liking them. And then I, like, even though Atlanta, to me, they have my favorite nail salon. Buckhead Nail and Toe, I think. Um, but I just was, like, so busy doing everything else that I just, I didn't go. Can I play piano for you? What do you mean? Have you tried dating a girl? Maybe guys are not for you. How was the making of Waste My Time music video? It was, it was really nice. It was a really nice time. It's a good one in Beltsville. Really? How far is that from where I live? Because I know y'all know. Screenshotted that face. Uh, y'all, I don't realistically think I could date a woman. I just, I don't think that, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. 
but it does feel like it's not working with men either. It's really not working. It just doesn't feel natural. It's, it's not feeling natural. Can you sing Orange Moon, please? Oh, you know what's crazy? Ah, nothing. A stud. I've been smoking purple. Hey, Ace. Ooh, love you, Ari. Love you, too. Same. Nothing feels natural right now. Yeah. Maybe it's the retrograde. You're going to be at So So Death Festival? <gasps> I hope so. Let's go on a hike. How much more natural can you get? I'm a gay man, and I ain't gonna lie. Some studs be having me questioning myself. Like, get the strap. Mm. Yeah, there was this one video I saw recently of, of, but I don't know. I don't know if she's a stud, but she definitely had energy and I was like, wow, but I don't know. She could be married. But also, I just don't think it's realistic. I, I'm i trying to be intentional, you guys. Have you ever just, just want to be intentional in life and, like, you just know what you've always desired? I don't want to just give up on what I've always desired, but I also can't deny that, like, beautiful is beautiful, but I don't. I think I'm one of those people that just acknowledge how beautiful everyone is, you know? But I think realistically, now my manager's saying call me when I finish. Um, I think realistically, uh, I I just want to be with a guy. I want to get married. I want to have kids with him. And I want to like... I want to be best friends with him and him be best friends with me and I want to be strong. I don't want to be scary ass bitch. I don't want to be scary. Please do a collab with John Legend. I would love to. Marry me then? Yeah, like that's not how that works. What a shit proposal. Um... But I don't know, y'all. I just, I, I just, I don't know. Actually, I do know. I do know. But I think what needs to happen is I just need to be single, continue to be single and like sexless for like the next 10 years. I think 40. I think I should just raise my dogs and like at 40, <sighs> start dating maybe or start responding. You need your cheeks clapped regularly. It's time to go. It's time to go. Cause no, I don't. Life is not all sex. I know that's how it may seem that way for me because of my nasty, freaky sexual music, but don't take these niggas till you're 43. Yeah, don't do it. To a Puerto Rican, you know, I would really love to. Puerto Rican, Brazilian, maybe someone from El Salvador or Mexico. Come on, give it to me. Oh, 
Not your whole body. Come here, give it to me. My dog, she's playing with a ball. No. <laughs> Go get it, girl. Go get it. Go get it. You need an African friend in your life, sis. I have an African friend in my life. Her name is Aza. She's almost dry. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's not. She's not. Switch to the rainbow. And then, like, y'all, like, nothing in life is that simple. Like, just switch to the rainbow. It's, it's really not a switch. It's kind of more like a turn around, you know. <laughs> but... It's, it's just, I don't know if anything is easier than the other. Uh-uh, uh-uh, don't bite me. You must be cold, all wrapped up. You need to stop coming to conclusions. I did see a beautiful story of this woman. She said she lived in Hawaii and she met her girlfriend or her wife now out there at a club and she said they were inseparable ever since. And I was just like, wow, this is so beautiful. And now they're married with a baby and I'm just like, wow, what a dream.